hello friends in this video we will uh, learn how to convert bce to binary in microprocessor 8085 so uh, the procedure will be suppose we want to convert a number 72 which is a decimal number and decimal can be directly written into bcd uh, 0111 0010 is a bcd representation of 72 so we want to convert this bcd into binary number so what will we do we uh, we split these two numbers like this the upper bcd and lower bcd or mcb lsb so 70 plus 2 72 will be written like 70 plus 2 so 70 is 7 into 10 and 2 is 2 into 1 this is the positional weightage of these two numbers okay now what we do we multiply this 7 the binary code of 7 by 10 okay so or, uh, and then we'll add the binary uh, number 2 to the output to the product of this number and we will get the binary number the desired bin binary number which is the output so either we can uh, multiply this or we can add because in 8085 we have addition uh, application only so what we do we add 7 10 times we'll get this then we add this 2 to this and finally we get the binary output so simply what we are doing uh, we are considering bcd higher bcd bc say bcd2 and bcd1 and then we are multiplying this 7 with 10 or we we are adding this 7 10 times then we'll add this 2 to that output product and finally we'll get the desired output so the process will be uh, the bcd will be divided into bcd1 and bcd2 where bcd1 is this part and bcd2 is this part because the register size of 8085 is 8 bit so we'll write bcd1 and bcd2 both are both in 8 bit okay upper 4 bit in both are 0 then we multiply bcd2 by 10 and then we add bcd1 to the product okay so now we can start the uh, program so uh, as you can see in starting we are storing our uh, number into location 2060 this so stack pointer pointer is initialized at 2099 here then the number 72 is stored at 2060 and this 2060 location is uh, will store this location at hl pair 2060 we know that at somewhere here 2060 at this memory location our number 72 is stored okay and uh, this uh, this must be 2070 okay so the 2070 is the location where we want to store our output so we are storing that value at bc pair okay now move ah will get the number 72 into accumulator okay then we call the uh, conversion routine bcd bin bcd bin is our conversion routine okay after converting this routine we will store the output in the address which is stored in b which is 20 70 and then we hold the program so let us discuss the bcd bin conversion routine <coughs> so we will start with push operation we will push the value of register b into stack pointer 
so push b will uh, what push will uh, b will do it store this 20 here in location 2090 and 70 at 2097 then push h it will store 20 at 96 2096 and 60 value at 2095 okay so in future when we require these value we will pop it out we are using push b and push h now uh, at the last of this subroutine uh, what we do we use pop h and pop b to get these values back okay now move b a the accumulator value is now stored here accumulator value is stored into b so we can change our accumulate value and b uh, the 72 value is stored or uh, is secured in register B. Now we'll do masking. Masking means we want to uh, get this value. Okay, we want to get this value uh, BCD1 or and BCT2. So we'll do masking. So we'll ma do masking by using AND operation ANI0FH. So what will happen here? 0F is this. 0 f and this is our number 72 72 so when and operation is performed between these two numbers the output is this because we know that any anything is multiplied by one uh, sorry and operation with one will get that number only and anything and operation with zero will give us zero so we'll get zero to here so and operation masking okay then after that the uh, masking result this result will be stored in accumulator 0 2 okay this 2 will store in register C using move AC so the value of accumulator will be stored in C so we get our uh, BCD one number here zero two. Now again we want uh, the value seventy two in accumulator, so we'll use command move AB. So uh, register B value seventy two is was stored in uh, B register. We'll get it back in accumulator like this. Okay, and uh, obviously we have uh, BCD one value stored in register C. Now we do masking of uh, LSB and we'll get BCD2 value. So we use end operation F0. Now we get this result which is 7070. Okay. So till now we have uh, two values BCD1 and BCD2 in form of 70 but the required value is 07 so if the value if this value was 0 we need not to multiply it by 10 so if the output is jump if 0 says that if the output is 0 then jump to bcd1 directly jump to this routine subroutine bcd1 and uh, stop the program and return to the main program but if it is not zero which is not zero seven zero we have to rotate this value we have to rotate this value like this this value is zero one 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 zero 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 we have to rotate it like this okay so by rotating right hand side four times what we'll get we'll get this value zero 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 sorry 0 1 1 okay so we'll get 0 7 by rotating four times 1 1 2 3 4 so here up to this value we'll get 0 7 as you can see here okay so now we'll move this value into register D so we'll uh, use the command move da 
so bcd2 is stored in d register and uh, bcd1 is stored in c register now we'll clear the accumulator using S xra a command this will clear the accumulator and then we move 0a which is 10 which is 10 into register e why because we want to add the number 10 times we want to add the number 10 times so we'll uh, run a subroutine of sum we'll add e okay add e to accumulator that means accumulator in accumulator we have 0 7 value it will add 0 7 to it and decrease decrease the value okay d which is 0 7 plus 0 7 so in this way this will add up to the value when it is not 0 to sum like this value so it will add up to 10 times okay so this is multiplication and finally we'll get our value and then new subroutine bcd1 it will uh, we'll get uh, 46 into accumulator when we add 0 7 10 times in hexa we'll get 46 and in uh, c register we have 0 2 value so add c will perform an addition between a and c 46 plus 2 46 plus 2 and we'll get 42 final uh, final answer which is stored which is now stored in accumulator so this is all about this program as i have uh, uh, in starting we use push command so now we'll pop out our h and b value and get return to the main program where will store the value okay so this is all about our uh, bcd to binary conversion thank you